Yo, everyday superpower, it's a lovely day, could you not see this before you? Man, I'm feeling good, catching a tan, applying some sun cream and whatnot. Let me tell you, I've got a story to tell today, okay? i got a big old story to tell. Now, this is an interesting one, and this is a testament to the information I have been providing you and its benefits, okay? So, listen to this. On one of the videos, as of recent, I spoke on, I, I think it was in regards to, have you seen the real them? Have you clocked onto when their mask has slipped and you have identified the person who they really are? Alternatively, it's in regards to um, people telling you who they are. You just need to listen and you will find out. So I referenced in an earlier video, yeah? And... Before I get into that, let me just clock on to the intro. You're listening to Everyday Superpower, where you learn about body language, non-verbal communication, and everything in between, okay? So, body language aside, this still is non-verbal to an extent. It's verbal, but it's not direct. We're reading in between the lines when it comes to this. So, I want you to pay attention as this is what happens when you don't observe and when you allow anybody to access your trust. Alright, so one of the companies I work for, yeah? I said earlier in a video, I said an individual has cracked numerous jokes. Oh, you best be careful with that, someone will pinch that. In re reference to the rest of the team, okay? It's a joke, all right, no problem. I suppose things go missing. That does happen in workplaces if you're working with, you know, things that can go missing. Some people are cheeky and they'll take it for their own. Not necessarily your items, but, you know, things that are left laying around if they need it to utilise for the workplace. So, all right, yeah, blah -de blah Second time around. Oh, yeah. I'll put... Be careful with that, I'll pinch that as a joke. And then a third time as to which I can't even reference, but you best believe a pattern had emerged. And I'm thinking to myself, this guy is talking too much. He is cracking too many jokes in reference to theft. Now, what is this? You use your ears, you listen to what people are saying. I have done a video based on... Primarily based on passive aggressive friends, but this still fulfills the criteria of what I'm going to explain The video was in regards to a joke is not a joke. A joke is rooted in reality Listen to what they're saying remove the humor and the cadence and the means as to which they Say the words and just look at it for what it is and this person kept talking about Stealing and theft, yeah? That same day, I went back and spoke to somebody who's close to me and I said, I think there's a thief in that organisation. Now, if I went and spoke to anybody within that workplace and said, I think so-and-so's a thief, purely based on my intuition and based on what I believed was a projection, which is... Him verbalising what was going on in his mind and exclaiming it like it was a joke he conjured. If I was to tell anyone, they'd probably say, man, why, why are you saying that about so-and-so? Why are you saying that about so-and-so? Because they might not have clocked onto this. This might not have gone, you know what I mean? This, this, this is so covert. But it's so in plain sight. So let me tell you, you listen to them when they tell you who they are and what they are thinking about. Yeah? If you've got anyone in your circle who makes crass jokes, dark jokes, yeah? Oh, I've got a dark sense of humour. Accept that, but listen to what they say. Yeah? Because some things their human mind can conjure shouldn't be spoken aloud. Because it allows insight into the character and thought process of that individual. So you should be taking it 
very seriously disregarding the fact it's a joke. So I've gone back home and I've said, I think there was, I think there was thief. I think there's thief in that organisation. Oh, why, why, why? They were just speaking too much on that. They were speaking too much on that. That was it, plain and simple. That got left to one side. I had a bad taste in my mouth regarding this individual and I left that to one side. Now, later on down the line, I've returned. Oh, so-and-so's, uh, what was it? Oh, be careful, be careful with the stuff in your pocket. I got told by another member of staff, be careful with the stuff in your pockets and ensure that it's safe. Because so-and-so was crouching around, kneeling about over there the other day. And it fell out of his pockets. And he had a hard time finding his keys. He lost his keys. Yeah? Nothing sellable. He lost his keys, which had his car keys. Yeah? Had his house keys and had whatever else in between, yeah? I don't know whatever else he had on. Because I wasn't there at the time and I didn't ask too many detailed questions. You know what I mean? It's pointless. So, he had to pay £200 in order to get his equipment back or at least get his keys remodeled remade sent back to him all of that that was an expensive situation let alone the hassle now he has to go to his boss and look embarrassed and get a lift home by his boss as he deals with this stress on a weekend what a hassle so i spoke for a moment and then i got told Oh, there was a, so somebody, somebody mentioned that there was a potential rumour, you know what I mean? There was a potential rumour going around that so-and-so took the keys, alright? Now, this organisation has 80 individuals existing within it. It would be a very bold statement. It would be very risky for me to go and put somebody else's business out there when I aren't being informed of who this person, who the rumour is being spoken about is, okay? But I have such faith in my intuition and what I picked up because that is my survival mechanism stating there is some incongruence here when it comes to who this person is portraying and the vibration that is coming from this person's mouth. These two things are not aligned. So, I went out after hearing that, the potential that somebody had stolen them keys, had a small talk in regards to how there was actually literally nothing to be gained from the taking of these keys other than spite and control in a power sense so I went out on a limb and I said do you think it's so and so and it was and it was it had manifested itself because in the time to come the situation escalated, the individual went to the boss of the company, says, I believe so-and-so had stolen my keys. They had used the master key on the lockers, come that night, and found the stolen items within the person, you know, the person's locker. Now, rewind that so many weeks prior, a month prior. This person was telling me that they were a thief. This person was projecting the idea of stealing in conversation and using some crash test dummy individual to project themselves upon as opposed to sucking it up and just keeping it inside. Do you know what they say when a criminal commits a crime? It's not long before they return to the scene of the crime. To visualise and see and observe what has gone on and what is going on. And for whatever reason, I don't know the psychology behind that one, but that's the way that goes, right? 
If somebody is harboring a deep secret or a dark recess to their personality, if you communicate with them, it won't be long until you hear or see that recess, but you must observe and be precise. This way, you know that someone is a thief, even though there is no proof. You have a superpower, it's your intuition, your animalistic, primitive, limbal brain is saying there is something wrong with that person. I made a bold statement in accusing one name, one individual in a group of 80 and I was correct in what I said through one conversation I had had with that individual. When there comes to a repetition of statement and particular concept, that is an idea and that is a schema that is in action in that person's brain on a consistent basis. If somebody is interested in mixed martial arts, they may apply mixed martial arts theory and techniques and concepts to their daily life and it may manifest itself within communication as that is what they are passionate about and that is who they are. This person irrelevantly made reoccurring references to theft and stealing but did not pin it upon themselves, instead threw it out into the open space stating that people might steal that i.e. I'm thinking I could steal that. You done goofed. And that's my story for today. That was a story on intuition and projection. Click subscribe.